Hi everyone, hope you're having a fabulous day. If you are new here, consider hitting that notification bell, subscribing so that you don't miss out on future readings. This one's gonna be on what's the tea on you, okay? And I'm gonna put the disclaimer out there before you go to the timestamps, I'm talking to you. Um, this might be positive or negative, so I would definitely say it could be trigger warning. Um, there should be a trigger warning. I will be warning you that there is a potential for you to be triggered, okay? Sometimes the tea on us is always not so nice, um, but again, that's other people's reflection of us, uh, reflections of us, which don't necessarily reflect who we really are. Okay, so um, without you know further ado, let's get into this reading. Um, amethyst will be your pile one. Your circular citrine will be pile two. Your jade pile will be three, and your rectangular citrine will be pile four. If, um, go to the description box if you're looking for timestamps, the cards I use, the link to my Patreon channel, everything will be situated nicely and neatly in the description box. So let's get started, guys. Okay, so our beautiful amethyst crystal, beautiful amethyst crystal. Let's see what's going on with you. We will get to these cards in a bit. As I said, if you missed the intro, this could be a potentially trigger war a triggering reading. Um, so just take it with a grain of salt. Not all the time, uh, the tea on us is nice, okay? Uh, and people sometimes don't really know who we are. They just take us at face value and they don't really know what they're even thinking or talking about, okay? Um, also, if you uh, need to find the cards that I use or, you know, the link to my Patreon channel, um, timestamps, it will all be nice and neatly in the description box okay so let's see what's going on here okay we have a bit of a quiet person here i feel like you're exuding a quiet per a personality now that might not be really who you are but maybe this is a situation like me for example like i don't know in my neighborhood i'm sure people like to talk about me because I kind of don't want to socialize, okay? I kind of have an inkling who they are and I'm not really impressed and I don't really want to talk, but I couldn't be more further from the truth, okay? I am actually quite the opposite. I'm highly, highly social. I just really choose uh, who I um, conversate with, okay, or get to know. So it feels to me like the same thing here, like they might not be reading you properly. You could be a person who is very guarded um, as far as who you get to know. It's not like an open, like, yeah, welcome, everybody and their mother. You know, it could, it might not be that type of energy. So people are definitely seeing that, I would say, uh, within you. Um, so definitely, I feel like when people are still sorry to... about that. Um, so yeah, as I was saying, um, they could kind of dub you as a person who is maybe antisocial or shy, but maybe you're not. Maybe you're not. Okay. So I feel like with the high priestess here, Queen of Cups, this kind of embodies that type of energy where you could be standoffish, okay? The T is that, like, you know, like I said, what's up with that person? Why don't they want to get to know me? Uh, maybe there's like a, a situation here where it's like the person is giving life to a conversation and it's like with you, they feel like they have to pull teeth, okay? This could definitely be a person who's uh, talking about you, who wants to get to know you but um, is having a hard time doing that, okay? Um, there could be, so for people that maybe do know you well, there could be talks here in regards to kind of where do you go? What's up with this person? Why are they always missing? Because with the Six of Swords here and the Hermit and the Eight of Cups, this tells me that you could be a potentially a person who um, really needs that alone time or is not really that big on, you know, uh, responding to text messages or calls. So no one's going to have you on a schedule. Okay. So this is like, as we keep going, this is not coming off like brutal to me. I mean, it could be, maybe you could feel that this is negative, but I don't feel like this is that, that serious. I don't feel like anybody's saying really like, okay, this is a rude person. She's, um, thinks she's all that. I don't sense anything like that here. I just feel like there's a distance. I feel distant. Um, and it's almost like, why is this person making it so hard to get to know them? Something along these lines. Now I will tell you with the devil card there though. Um, you are a type of person, um, 
that is quite interesting, I feel like without saying much. So I feel like these people who, even if they feel this way, they can't kind of get enough of you. So when you do make yourself available, um, they're like there, they're there, they're there, they're ready. Um, you know, this personality would be that type that would make you feel like that because like I said, you're not an open book. When you're not an open book, you leave room for mystery, okay? And when you leave room for mystery, that's enticing. It's just human nature to feel like that, you know? Um, we do have a couple cards here uh, that are the same here with the chariot. Um, there could be a lot that's being talked about as far as what you do in life. Maybe you're always on some new path or a new venture, and it's definitely chaotic, okay, with the tower following that chariot card and then also with the ace of wands. So you could be a creative person. You could be a person who's like um, maybe through your work being creative or like this could be literally initiating projects, okay, or projects that we're starting. Listen, I think when people talk about you, it's like maybe you're very busy as well too. They would talk about that fact. Like it's like where is she? I don't know who she, I don't know where she is. She didn't respond to my message. What's going on with her? Why does she need to spend all this time alone? Um, okay, so I did see that. Okay, so the Seven of Swords is here. I feel like there, there's a feeling here from these people that they don't quite trust you. Now, but that's not in a mean way. I think it just has a lot to do with the fact that you're busy or you don't really give life to things. So that would entail that you wouldn't trust somebody. Like that would go hand in hand is what I mean, okay? Hmm. I think a lot of people feel too uh, when you know that you are like a naive person who needs protection, but I, it couldn't be further from the truth. You're actually very strong. Because see with this Eight of Swords here and the Queen of Cups, like people would feel like that way about her. You know, oh, she needs protection. She doesn't really stick up for herself. But these quiet ones, oh my goodness, like these quiet ones are actually the strongest ones in the room. Strongest ones in the room, okay? Um, really are the ones who kind of have it together. Um, they're just not going to come out and tell you that they have it together, you know? It's going to be something you're going to have to figure out and only maybe after a while you're starting to realize that, you know, this person's actually doing something right in life. And I think it's that, you know, you really are guarded very well with your time and like who you kind of want to hang around with. So it, it's kind of interesting, you know? Um, now with the Six of Swords, you could be a person who takes off a lot, maybe on trips. Um, I'm seeing that as well too. Something as far as being gone. Uh, haven't been able to reach her, haven't talked to her in forever. Like, I'm really feeling like an unstableness with this pile. So you could be a wishy-washy person, but that doesn't have anything to do with you being maliciously that way. It's just that, like I said, you're very busy. Um, hard to reach, hard to pin down on a schedule. Now, you could be very driven as well, too, with this char these two chariot cards. Um, so when people are talking about you, it's like, wow. Uh, that person is really taking, you know, leaps. And I'm not saying that they say it exactly like that, but I think you can kind of read between the lines. Um, these people are just like, wow, this person's really, you know, um, grabbing life, you know, by the B-A-L-L-S and doing it up, you know? Um, so I don't really feel like here we have like anybody who's like a, that mundane type, um, where you're like, you're, you're sticking to the textbook. I think you're really out there living life and people are aware of this and, I feel like there's a little bit of like idolism with this, okay? Um, like, wow, I wish I could do that, something in that way, um, shape or form. So you are looked up to as well, um, and that's great. Um, so there's a bit of like a little bit of, you know, like being distant, not being able to put you on a schedule, but I feel like secretly, even if they're talking this way about you, they secretly wish they could be like that, okay? I think you don't really need anybody. I don't think you're that person who cares about being a part of the crowd um, or being liked and that in itself will hold its own power, okay? Um, I know that with myself, um, when I see other women um, in my life who need to be liked and then they meet somebody like me who just doesn't give to like F-U-C-Ks, um, they kind of are just like, wow, you know, I can see it. I can see it in their eyes that they're just like, I wish I could be like that. So there's something along those lines here going on, okay? Now, um, you could be a person who's not really into, conf into confrontation or into kind of the arguments of it all. 
So I think if there's spill be uh, tea being spilled about you, it's like maybe they get upset with you and then it's like you didn't do anything about it or you didn't clear the air, you know? Maybe you took off, okay, after the argument. Um, I, there's a lot of like unleft feelings here when it comes to other people. I guess perceptions of you or what they talk about. I think it irritates them that they either can't put you on a schedule or they just can't have you the way that they want you, okay? There's something like that going on here. Hmm. But they're obsessed. They're obsessed. So either way, they have this, you know, these feelings about you. Uh, they can't get enough and all. And I think it's a lot to do with the fact that you're passive um, and that you kind of are interesting, you know? You're very interesting, mysterious. Very mysterious with this pile, now, let's see what these other cards say. Um, we have a dark woman. Dealings with a relationship with a woman with dark complexion or hair. So this could be anybody with dark hair. It doesn't have to be dark skin. But just, it could be a woman, period. Okay? Um, never mind if she has that. Like, we don't have many of these cards um, in this deck. So there could be a woman just as, as feeling this way. Okay? Um, now, we do have a two-faced friend here with the cat. So this could be a friend that you think is a friend, but I think you know, because, you know, Queen of Cups and High Priestess will have an inkling, but I just think you don't have, like, the patience to bother um, to set this person straight or even school them, you know? So I think you kind of are aware of who this person is. Hand, in need of help, assistance, and guidance. So um, if they can say one thing, you're always there to help, okay? I think you may not be helping like heavy handedly where it's like you're all in with the person but I think you have a way of maybe giving some advice or saying something that really helps people okay um you could be very helpful but it feels light to me so it doesn't feel like you know anybody's giving any kidneys here okay but it feels like the guidance part the assistance and guidance it's like I think you're through your personality really inspiring people um, and I think you might have a lot of friends or people around you who are opposite than you, opposite than you and um, you're inspiring them to maybe look at something different, you know, maybe like act different, take more risks, be different. Um, people are watching through your examples of how you live life. So when you can be the example, that's like really cool, actually. OK, I psychic ability, trust your intuition. So that card there tells me you might know who this is. Um, you already have an idea. Maybe you're moving like this because you have that idea. Maybe you act this way. Maybe you're, like I said in the beginning, not really like this, but you're acting this way because you know who these people are. You can see through it. And this is, gives me the same vibe like what I have. Um, I can, I can watch people without really even having a conversation with them. And I know right away, not for me, mm -mm, not for me. And I can see all the person's insecurities too. Just by watching them, it's really cool. So I'm telling you, I think you have a little bit of a psychicness here, okay, with this pile. You know, you know who you're avoiding and, you know, who you're being a certain way to. And there could be definitely reasons for this, okay? You think someone is lying and they broke your heart. Now, this is not you. This is how they perceive you. So um, you could have broken a lot of people's hearts in life, whether that be female friends or men or co-workers um, in the sense like I said you just you didn't give them what they wanted okay what they wanted of you what they expected you to be and you think someone is lying as in I think a lot of people think that you lie or that you're putting on some sort of a fa facade with them so this could actually go both ways where they think maybe you actually um, are really doing this as well um, because you don't really want anything to do with them you know and uh, nothing wrong with that. You know, we don't need to sit here and care about how other people feel. You know, if you don't want to be around somebody um, talking to you, you have every right to kind of make them feel, you know, a ways so that they can keep them at a distance. OK, um, let's see what this card says here. Embrace your inner divine goddess. So you're really I feel like vibrating at a different level about uh, than the people who spill tea about you. People who are gossiping about you, they're not in your vibration scope anymore okay i think maybe you've known these people for a while there could be put some of you out there who have known these people for a while 
you're not vibrating at the same level anymore with them. Um, they have to kind of go, or maybe you haven't cut the ties yet, but maybe you're changing your behavior towards them. Now, if these are people who rarely know you, not for you, not for you, you know, you're in a divine goddess type of energy where you could be really functioning from something that is quite beautiful, okay? And then you are able, because I'm telling you, when you're in this kind of energy, you can see, you can see through people and they don't have to say much to you. I'm living testament to that, okay? I've literally watched people um, for five minutes and I, ready, I knew and I got this intuition right away, not for me, okay? So you're a divine goddess, um, these people who are spilling tea, um, not to judge them, um, but they're just in a different energy that is not really going to be able to merge with yours, okay? Um, so you're doing the right thing. That's, you know, if, like I said, you're um, acting this way for a reason. Um, but yeah, do you, do you, because you're doing amazing and you're doing what you're supposed to, I feel like, with this pile. Uh, really, you know, like if you're taking life by the BALS, you know, and making things happen for yourself and staying away, from people, staying away from people who don't like serve you or make you feel good. That's exactly what you should be doing. So there's nothing wrong with that. Wow, Amethyst Pile. Okay, let me know what you thought and thank you so much for watching. Okay, so our beautiful Citrine. Let's see what's going on with you guys. We will get to these cards in a bit. Okay, let's find out... Um, what people are, what the tea is with you, okay? What are people saying? And like I said in my intro, do this could be potentially triggering. How people view us is not exactly how we are. It is not, absolutely not. Um, so just take it with a grain of salt and, you know, look in my description box. All the cards I use will be there. Um, the links to like my uh, Patreon channel will be there. It's all nicely situated there. Okay, guys, um, we have a very different energy here, okay, than pile one. Um, a little bit more of diabolical, okay? So I think when people are spilling tea about you, it's that, you know, they feel like you're crazy somehow. I don't know why. The tower seems very unsteady. We have the five of swords here it makes me feel like you know you're fighting with people a lot um huh you're also very much a magician but the magician is not always trusted that's the interesting thing you know they can be very interesting um very funny people um with the wheel of fortune it kind of amplifies the whole situation um and it just wow like these people think that you maybe, you know, could be, you know, really working wonders or I don't know. I'm hearing like she always gets her way or she knows how to get things done. Um, she knows how to like really get things like done her way. I don't know. I think some of these people think that you could. I don't think they're going to fully say that, but I think they could think that you have some sort of powers within you. OK, um, and I think if they could in a heartbeat have those same powers, they would, okay? So there is a little bit of a jealousy here. I think with the, with the Three of Cups, you're uh, really fun, really fun. So I think when I'm hearing somebody spilling the tea about you, it's like all the good times they've had with you. Really fun. Bring in the party, bring in the times, bring in the laughs, bring in the conversation. Like you are that person who is the first person to be called when they want to go out. Like, you are that person, okay? Um, three of Cups, it's so funny with those. Every time I see those three women with their cups of Patron, okay? Um, so interesting to me, um, the illustrations on these cards. But yeah, definitely a fun person, but I can't deny the fact that we have the Tower and the Five of Swords. So when people are spilling the tea, it could be after, like, the fights that they have with you. I think... You could be a person who doesn't take any SHIT, hence maybe you blow up at people, but it doesn't mean that you're just blowing up people for no reason. Maybe someone's acting stupid and you call them on it, okay? Um, but I think these people are just like, she's always wanting to fight. Um, she's very diabolical. She's always like, I feel like on edge or there's something along the lines of high strung or flying off at the flying on the, what do they call it flying off the handle at any moment um 
So they're, they're treading carefully with you, okay? But um, with the Two of Pentacles, you could be a very overwhelmed person. We have Ten of Wands here. Um, you could be literally a mother with the Empress card. Like there's literally children sitting right next to you. Maybe you're a very busy person and these people, when they spill tea about you, it's about all the stuff you're going through. So be very careful with what you're talking about because I think if you've picked this pile and you have a very crazy life or there's something always going down or um, there's a lot of situations and you're kind of relaying that to people, they're then kind of relaying that to someone else, okay? There's something along those lines that feel like that to me. Um... Two of Swords um, could also talk about the fact that you, you know, indecision. Um, maybe you're just a very busy person. You're not really responding back to invites or maybe you're a person who's hard to reach. Something along those lines, but it's because of how overburdened you are. So you're busy. It's not a bad thing. Um, you know, it's very difficult, but it's, it's interesting here too with the wands. Um, this makes me feel like there's invites coming constantly and you're leaving people hanging. So... You could, you could be a bit of a flighty person with this with this pile. Um, definitely flighty. I'm feeling like not always getting back to people. I, I don't know why. Because um, with the page of the wands here and the hangman, I feel like there's a lot of messages coming forth. So I think a lot of people really like you and want to be around you. But at the same time, you leave them hanging in some sense. So... This is a popular person, I'm not gonna lie. Um, your pile two is a very popular person, very well liked, um, but also viewed as diabolical. Diabolical. Um, people are aware that, you know, uh, they can't really say things out of, you know, they gotta be very careful how they, you know, speak. And um, so when, there's, when people are talking the tea about you, it's like, can you believe what she said to me? Oh my God, I thought we were friends. I can't even believe she'd said that, you know? But it's all good though. I feel like, you know, you guys make up. But there's something along those lines here where with the tower card, you shock people. So this could be that you're, you know, wishy-washy, always doing different things. But it could also point to the fact that um, you have a temper on you. Now, the Empress is quite a beautiful woman, okay? Now, if you're a man watching it, apply to you. Apply it to yourself. But with the Empress, you're a very beautiful woman, very beautiful woman. And I think, you know, when people are there, these are going to be all different groups of people who are talking about you. OK, so there could be some people who are speaking about you in a really good light, like, oh, she's so beautiful. Um, wow. Natural beauty. This could be even literally like literally lovers who are interested um, when they're talking the tea about you to their friends. It's like she's gorgeous. I have to have her, you know, um, but what, what's nice about the Empress is that it's natural beauty, absolutely natural beauty, okay, um, it's, it's wonderful, it's like fresh, you know, it's like that Neutrogena commercial, you know, or when you see all those girls just like looking great without no makeup, it's something like along those lines, um, but yeah, definitely with this pile, there's a temper on you, people talk about your temper, this could even be family members who just feel like, what the hell, you know? Um, maybe it's even your own mother. Like, how did I raise a daughter like this, you know? I feel like this is just you, though, you know? This is just you, and this is how you came out. And, you know, I feel like with this pile, you know, whoever's watching this, you really are trying to be accepted for who you are. Like, you will be, you will only be accepted. So you refuse to change, and that's great. Um... So with this pile, I feel like you're very popular, but I feel like people can get sometimes taken aback uh, by, you know, like the way you behave um, or the way you come at them or the way that you maybe just kind of like not disappear, but come across as flighty, like leave them hanging, can't make decisions. But I think it has a lot to do with the fact that you're very, very busy, okay? Um, now let's see, let's see what these, um, cards say here. There's going to be more information in these cards. Okay. So parrot, someone will gossip all about all your secrets. So be very careful. Like I said earlier on the reading, um, I think you have a very crazy life. Um, not a bad way, just very busy. 
and uh, maybe there's a lot of people in your life, okay, and you kind of relay these stories. Someone around you is very chatty. Um, I think whoever is expelling these secrets, they don't have much of their own life, so when they're conversing with other people to kind of fill that void, they talk about you, okay? And don't put this past your family members. Oh, your family members will do that. Flute, so disappointment in a friend or a lover. So the, the gossip could be about other friends or it could be about a lover and you're going to your friends and talking and nobody blames you, you know, nobody blames you. Um, or this could be the person who's talking about you. So um, maybe you have an idea. Maybe you have an idea of this, okay, already, uh, of who this person is. Um, maybe they've slipped up a bit uh, already and you kind of know exactly what I'm talking about. Leg, stepping into a new experience. So with the leg, um, you could definitely be a risk taker with this uh, pile, uh, You uh, with this card. You could be so maybe busy or maybe you're an entrepreneur or this is why with the magician and the Wheel of Fortune, um, it talks about new beginnings, exciting experiences. You're always doing something. So there's definitely idolism here, um, I would say for sure. You are that person who is um, really looked up to. It's fun, you know, fun girl, fun personality. You got to watch yourself with her a bit, though. But um, she's always doing something new. She's always taking off. Uh, the tower is always happening around her. That could even be literally an exciting life, okay? Um, and maybe the people that you're around or who are spilling this tea about you, they don't have that type of life, okay? Rabbit, too much concern with sexual matters. Hmm. So this could be when people are spilling tea with about you, it's about this. Maybe you're boy crazy. Maybe you are just always having issues with men um, or maybe you're concerned too much with men. I don't know. There's something like this. People think that you're kind of a little bit of like a, maybe a H-O-R-N-Y rabbit. I don't know. I'm surprised that this came out. I literally haven't seen this card before really. Um, so I think people think you need to slow down in some sense or um, maybe kind of not talk about these matters with them. Maybe they're kind of uncomfortable with it and then they relay that to other people. Like, I don't know why she's telling me what's going on in her bedroom, stuff like that. But you don't have to take that in no way, okay? Because if we're friends with people, um, it's a given that you would do that. But I think the people who are spilling tea, there could be some people out there who feel uncomfortable with it. That is so weird that I got that card. Okay. Um, let me know if that, especially that card resonates. Okay. And that could be with your husband. That could be with your husband. Um, if you're married or you're taken, that could be that you're divulging things that are going on in the bedroom with your husband. Drop the effing ego. It's not everyone else's fault. It's yours. So when they're spilling the tea about you, I think these people think that you have some sort of a big ego. And, um, I feel like I, when they're spilling the tea, I'm hearing like, it's like, I'm getting sick of her. She just thinks she's all that. And maybe you talk about how people have messed up with you, okay? Messed up with you, um, have acted stupid, or this could be literally the fights that you're having with people. Maybe you're not that first one to apologize. Maybe it has to always be them. Um, that's kind of could be as well correlation here, okay? That's what I'm seeing here. It's like, I have to always be the first one to apologize, when these people are talking about you um it's never their fault you know never her fault it's always you know and if i want to talk back to her i have to kind of be the first one to initiate things feels like that to me okay um breathe in bliss exhale bs yeah you're not really having it you're not having it you're a strong strong person with this pile um, I think these people are aware of it. I, you could be a very much an alpha female with this pile, hence why people have to always kind of crawl back to you. Um, yes, an alpha, uh, alpha female can admit when she's wrong, but I feel like with this pile, this feels like to me people who are crawling back to you, okay? Um, or feeling like they have to. You could be the queen bee, okay, in the group. Um, you have it together. Look at that. All your chakras are aligned, okay? Um, I feel like with this pile, we have an alpha female. I really do. Um, it's just the way she's sitting there and she's just like really meditating. The energy that's coming off of her is divine. And there's something just a way about the way she's sitting that makes me feel like someone who just has it together or is very strong in their personality and um, knows who they are, refuses to change. 
um, will not be changed. Um, could be very aggressive, but as far as like what they want out of life and what they refuse to deal with, okay? So this is kind of, I don't know. It's funny how pictures can tell you this, you know? It's just the way she's sitting that makes me feel like that. So that was a lot, Pile 2. That was a lot. Uh, let me know what you thought, guys, and thank you so much for watching. Okay, so our beautiful Jade. Let, let's get into this reading. Um, we will get to these cards in a bit. If you missed the intro, guys, uh, this could be a potentially triggering reading. I'm um, just putting it out there. How people view us are not is not exactly how we really are. Um, so there's nothing, you know, take this with a grain of salt, nothing to get upset about. And then also um, check the description box. All the links to my readings will be there, how to book with me, how to um, find the cards that I use. Everything's situated nicely there. Okay. Okay, so with this pile as opposed to the other two pile, I'm getting two two sets of people. I didn't have, those other two piles were very general. I'm sensing two groups of people who are talking smack about you, okay? I'm not even going to put this into T. This is smack. Talking smack. These are people you've either discarded of, like you've literally dropped them like a hot cake, or these are coworkers. Coworkers who I feel like want revengeance on you somehow i don't know if you've just kind of recently left your job or put it in your resignation or maybe you're really doing good at work i think you do really good at work with the nine of pentacles right here um but this is a lot of jealousy. I'm not going to lie with this pile. Um, a lot of jealousy. And it's interesting here with the higher fence. Feels like the institute or the organization. So this makes me feel like when I see that, I feel like it's either a school building or a work building. Um, I think you're not drinking these people's Kool-Aid anymore. And that's why they're so irritated. So listen, whoever picked this pile, like this is a lot of tea. This is not just a little bit here and there. This is a lot like and in the moment right now. Okay. I think you're being talked about a lot, like a lot. Like who is she? Who is she? Who does she think she is? She's nothing. I'm not going to lie, there could be even like a little bit of plotting here of like, not that they're exactly plotting, like writing up, drawing up blueprints, but it's almost like the energy of it's like, how can we get back at her or how can we make her feel a certain way? Nasty, nasty energy here. Very nasty energy here. These are people with uh, desperation or have no lives because I, I feel like if they're in your past, I don't know why they're still thinking about you. Um, I think you got the last laugh with this pile and they're not happy about that. They're not happy about that. I think maybe they, you kind of, they've been treating you a certain way and you were always the one kind of like they were laughing about. And it's like now, you know, the wheels have turned literally. Um, and the wheel here with the death card makes me feel like people who have, um, you know, departed or not, not departed, sorry, departed from your life. Or there's been an ending to the two of you guys, okay? Um, or the, whoever, the bunch of them and you. Um, the death card makes me feel like either it's over or you've cut ties or there's something of a severing here, okay? Severing of ties. Now with the moon card, I think you know what's going on. I think you've probably maybe even had dreams about this. Like you could literally feel it in your energy as to like they make it very obvious though i feel like this is not like a passive thing look at this with the cloud and the extension of the cup it's like come on drink my kool-aid drink it and this guy's like hell's no uh-uh i see right through you i think these people didn't expect for you to see through them and it's funny because um I think they were able to like think that they were fooling you for a long time. 
but you're like you woke up to this all you know with the justice you've kind of really changed it all around and i think you did it in a way that they were just kind of left like what wait, 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 what 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 just happened here you know wait, 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 what's going on here um something along that line now if these are co-workers these are some nasty nasty bees okay nasty bees i feel like they're the ones that smile in your face but talk right behind your back and i think there could be two reasons why they're doing this i think you've never kind of you kind of were really a nice person and they weren't used to that because they're they're not a group of nice people or you were a target because maybe you were easy to kind of bully or they really sensed your aura on some level and were triggered by it it's very weird what i'm picking up here like with this pile i'll definitely want anybody who picked this jade pile and it resonates to like comment that would be interesting listen these people are not done with you they may be spilling tea right now but they could be making contacts as well too as far as contacting you because with that devil card here it makes me feel like we're not done like i'm still bothered or like this is still bothering me like i'm i want to i want to like go back into this somehow like this is not over while well, you're over here just living your life you know making your money happy and content literally it could literally be all these things that i've just said as to why they're irritated is because maybe they don't have peace within them but you do and you've always been a bigger person about things those will be the first people to get walked on now, I'm not saying that you're getting walked on, but maybe picked on or something along these lines. I'm getting two distinct groups of people here. This could be coworkers and this could be people that you've discarded of. With the five of pentacles, it's like, I'm not drinking your Kool-Aid anymore. I see right through your BS. And you've dropped them like a hotcake and they were not prepared for that. Let's see what these cards say. Maybe it'll give us more insight as to who they are. chair empty someone's leaving your life so i think you've left their life and they're pissed they're pissed because i think you were the punching bag i don't know like you were their favorite punching bag so now that that chair is empty it's like who do we pick on now you know that's really sad that's really sad and i hate to relay like messages like that because that's just so mean you know opportunities are waiting for you Maybe you have opportunities that are happening for you right now that are not ha nothing's happening for them. And they're just like, why her? Why her? Who is she? And why not me? Listen, you might want to take a good look at who's around you, okay? If you're kind of still talking to these people, if let's say you haven't discarded of them, you might want to pay attention to how they react when you have opportunities coming your way new job or career with the pin maybe you've left your workplace these are old co-workers okay and that opportunity that door was the new opportunity of leaving okay um they're not happy about that maybe you were that person in the office there or wherever you work that um they relied on a lot or they let, like put all their work on you and now you've left them like oh god what are we going to do with this now we have nobody who's going to do it or nobody who's qualified to do it anymore it feels like that energy bag something important such as a new job or a raise now if these are co-workers that are still like here present and they're at the job that you currently work at they could be very very jealous with the fact that you've gotten a raise or some sort of promotion or maybe you're getting accolades at work maybe people are noticing you and they're kind of making comments in front of them and they don't like it okay god people are so damn petty you know people are so damn petty it's ridiculous Okay, uh, Rebel cards here. Some good SHIT is about to happen. You are talented and effing amazing. So regardless of this reading, um, you're going to keep on going. You're beautiful. You're an amazing person. And I think because of all of that, like what you inhibit or what you kind of offer or what you have to offer, that's just going to make more things come in and piss these people off even more. So to hell with them. 
literally this was an entertainment reading purposes only uh, for you. You just kind of were like, ah, let's click on this, you know, let's just see what this is about. But there's nothing to worry about these people. They're losers. They're left in the past. They're like, it's like the car that just left the dust. You remember in that movie? Dirty Dancing, when he took off with the car and all that dust came. Like, that's what I feel like. You've left them in the dust, you know? So leave them in the dust, you know? Um, and if you are kind of, if they're currently around, just keep, continue to be amazing. Um, be you. Never dim your life for anybody else. Um, you're a beautiful person. Really, you are. And what's important here is that you have a lot of talent, okay? And I know that when people don't have talent and they see someone else who has a God-given ability just to be creative or do something or baby really smart that pisses the s-h-i-t out of people celebrate yourself you deserve it you see what i'm saying to hell with this reading you don't have to worry and i'm going to tell you something if you have discarded of these people you've done the best thing you can do okay a lot of people have a hard time cutting off people especially if these people are in your family but you will find that because you've cleared your space or you've maybe decided to not focus on it or entertain it or huh, those people over there. Okay. Yeah, whatever. Hmm, keep on going. Um, you will, you will be able to celebrate your life more because you've made peace or like I said, you've discarded and things that can come in now, things can come in now. You've cleaned up your energy. You've cleaned up your toxic environment and things are just going to keep coming in. So this celebrating it's going to go on for many, many more years. Um, you, you will be celebrating for a long time. And somehow these people will find a way to find out about, you know, um, what you're doing. And it will irk the S-H-I-T out of them. But who cares, you know? So the confetti is out. The champagne is there. Uh, celebrate yourself. You're doing amazing. You always will do amazing because, like I said, you're very talented, okay? And um, if you're invoking this much reaction out of people... That tells me as a like a reader that um, you must be doing something good. OK, and don't take this like, you know, to the nines here and think that I'm saying that you're a CEO or you're a millionaire. Um, it could be literally anything that you think um, makes you feel good or you're accomplishing things in life. OK, goodness gracious, Jade, this was the pile to pick. This was the pile to pick. So congratulations. OK, and this is resonating like congratulations. You deserve it. Thanks for watching, guys. Let me know what you thought. Okay, so our rectangular citrine. Let's see what's going on with you. Uh, we will leave these cards for after. If you missed the intro, guys, um, I was saying that, you know, just take this reading with a grain of salt. Um, how people view us is not always really how they view us. It's not really who we are. So this could be literally positive or negative, you know, energy. Um, but like I said, take it with a grain of salt. And also, you know, check my description box if you're looking at, you know, my Patreon channel, if you need to find the link, if you need to book with me, if you also uh, want to find the cards that I use, okay? And the timestamps will be there as well. Okay, so this is, um, wow. Okay, whoa. Um, gifted beautiful wanted to you just make every situation wonderful uh people want to be around you loving strong energies popping beautiful person okay nothing to see here folks nothing to see here folks you can click off you're amazing absolutely i'm joking <laughs> i'm not joking about what i said but i'm joking about the clicking off part let's talk about it like this is wow okay so we didn't have this in any other pile um the spill the tea that is being spilled about you is nothing but beautiful things um nothing said here that's bad nothing like you are a beautiful person i i don't know what you've done for people i don't know if you've just you're just a joy to be around because your energy is popping but you could literally be a really nice person okay um, especially with that page of cups there, um, you could be bringing forth messages. You could be, who knows, a reader, you know, um, who's provided a lot of guidance for people. Maybe you are just that person who's sending emails to people when they're in hardship. Um, gifted with the star card. There's something here along the lines where people think that you're magic. You're magic. Maybe you've 
done a little magic and they kind of are aware of it and you're like holy moly how did this girl do this you know um whoa um let's talk about the star card for a bit though let's really talk about this you're special you're really special to whoever's talking about you there's a pull here too and an energy it's like whoever is talking about you probably says that you know there was just something about her and i was i felt drawn to her i felt connected i felt like she was like a soul sister or someone i had to get to know queen of wands spicy 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 senorita oh yes queen of wands she's a fun girl she's funny um she's that one you want kind of by your side if you're going through a rough time she'll cheer you up okay and if you're a man, just apply this to you. Um, but I cannot deny the fact with the Queen of Wands here. This is a woman who would be that woman that you would want by your side. Okay, let's say if you're in a fight, um, whether you want to have a couple, you know, shots of Patron with because she's just going to keep it going. Okay, she's fun. Now we have the Ten of Cups here. This could be literally coming from your family members. Okay, your family members who love you who it's like you are like the jewel in the family. Now, if it's not your family talking about it, it's people who feel like you are family to them. Or once they get to know you, it's like, you're my family. I love you. I would do anything for you. Um, this could be fam friend friends who consider you family. With the Ace of Cups here, people talk about how much they love you, how much they love you. It's just nothing but like positivity with this pile. You probably are like, whew, I just dodged a bullet because I didn't know what I was going to get into when I clicked on this video. Uh, with the strength card in the sun, um, you could have went through a lot of ballot battles that people know about and they talk about you as a strong, strong woman. A strong woman who it's like maybe if they had to go through it, they're like, yeah, I don't think I could get through something like that. But she was able to get through that and it's like, I got to maybe get some tips from her. Or maybe you're strong, you went through the stuff and you're sharing it with other people. Like I really feel with this pile, we're talking about like a goddess and a girl's girl, a girl's girl who is here to kind of really like not compete with people, but like uplift other women. Like you're, you're about that life, okay? You could be a little, literally a, a life coach here um, where people seek answers from you uh, or, you know, you just seem to have it together. Or like I said, there's something here with guidance. Now with the sun card, you're a breath of fresh air. You know, you could be a person who's very positive too. It's like there's no in inhibitions. It's not like, okay, you know, let's say your name is Sally, okay? Oh, Sally today was a little bit odd, you know? She was a little bit, you know, uh, distant with me. I didn't really know what was going on. She was a little catty. And then to more, it was like, oh, then she kind of wanted to be around me. You're stable in your energy as far as how you treat people. So I think people really appreciate that when they're talking about you. It's like, she's just always pleasant, always pleasant, always has something good to say, always has a smile on her face. Those are the people that are really well-liked, okay? And I'm not saying that you care about being well-liked, but I can understand that because I said that about people. You know, I like, I tend personally to like people who are stable uh, with their like approach towards me, as in I don't have to question, you know, do you like me? Do you not like me? This is kind of where I'm going. This is what it feels like to me. Look at the, with the world card and we have the chatter here with the eight of wands, we have the chatter, okay? So we have the words that are being spoken and when it's sitting next to the world, it makes me feel like you're, you're viewed well, you're viewed well in society, okay? Uh, worldly can also be like, you know, um, how people take you on a whole level. So it seems to me like everybody's saying the same thing. Um, now, if you kind of feel like there's people out there who don't really like you, they're not important enough to be kind of, uh, popping up in this so whoever is important in your life is actually really uh, taking you very well now i am hearing something else um give me one moment because i just want to make sure i say it properly um i'm also hearing too that if people wanted to kind of maybe talk about you they are kind of being blocked from it so this is a real thing guys i've literally wanted to kind of reach out to people but the moment i tried to kind of do it, go and do it or text it i just couldn't it was just like the universe was like no you don't reach out to this person so it can work the same way with how you speak because if you guys are aware uh, like of yourself out there 
I know with me, sometimes I want to say things, but then my spirit guides are like, shut your mouth, don't say it. So I think you're actually even protected from gossip somehow. Like, and I don't think, I think people are being blocked from talking about you. But not only that, I think people also too are, um, they would be reaching if they tried to like, you know, put you in a bad light because nobody else would agree with them. So they could be very like, you know, singular on these thoughts. I'm just feeling like a blocked energy when it comes to this, which is interesting, you know? Uh, two of Cups, you know, the exchanges that you have with people are just like wonderful with the Temperance card and the Page of Cups. Maybe you, always, you have like, a, you're very friendly. You ask them how they're doing. You know, that's a big deal, you know? Um, a lot of people out there, they just want to talk about their own life. They hardly even ask you how you're doing. So you could really just be about the other person. Like, how are you? You know, like, what can I do for you? Um, you know, how can I make your life better? Or, you know, not that you're a pushover, but like I, you have the Ace of Cups and the Page of Cups here. So really nice energy. I mean, you might even be that person who's just like, you know, bringing cookies to work. Like, I, I was thinking of all of you guys, you know? So let me bring, you know, these things for you. Like, let me bring you food, you know? Kind gesture person, like wowzers. What are these cards going to say? I'm curious because, you know, it can take a different turn definitely within these cards. But let's see here. Protection from a powerful friend. You are that powerful friend, honey. Um, you're very loved. Um, you might have actually, you know, been there for your friends in tough times or stood up for your friends. Um, you are the protection. So these people who have experienced this with you, it's like nothing but love because they remember all the times that you were there for them. Teapot, deep friendship with someone of the same sex. So these are women. These are other women. Other women friends who regard you highly. I don't feel like they feel like there's any kind of, you know, fishiness going on here as far as, you know, um, cattiness. I do not feel like this is a pile that is exhibiting cattiness. Um, just very genuine, open energy and uh, feel like they can actually trust you, okay? And that's beautiful when people can feel like they can trust you. Um, that's a wonderful feeling. Uh, dog is getting together with friends. So lots of, you know, maybe friendships around you, whether they be on the internet or in person. You have a tribe going on and that tribe, I feel like, would literally like stand in the way of a car if it came for you, okay? Um, people regard you highly. Grapes, time to go out and have fun. Yeah, you're a fun time. You're a fun time. Um, you are that person, I feel like, if I'm, have, if I'm not doing well and I'm feeling down, I'm calling Sally, okay? Because Sally is going to make me feel better. And not only that, she's such a great person. Her energy's high and there's somehow... When I'm around her, it just, I leave better or I leave fulfilled in some way or it's like, I feel full, you know? It's like her energy goes on me because you are loved. You are loved. You are loved, honey. Listen, I said pile three was the pile to pick, but I might have to take that back, okay? Pile four, you're doing it. And it's genuine. This is not fake. This is genuine. This is genuine admiration. This is genuine kindness. Goodness gracious, guys. What is this going to say? Okay. So your reality is a reflection of your inner world. So if you're wondering how this came to be, it's because you're exhibiting these traits yourself. So you're not kind of walking into things with baggage. You're not walking into things and, you know, being rude or, um, you know, making the gossip, you know, talking about people yourself. Everything is a reflection of the way we behave, you know. So when you're coming across as very open, very bubbly, very like, how can I help? It's no wonder you're attracting these types of people to you because I feel like your space is very sacred and it's very clean. But it's not just sacred and clean. It's actually... I feel happy, like I feel happy. So I feel like, you know, hit me up. I'd love to be your friend. Um, I need more people like this. Um, I, I meet people, I've met people like this before, okay? And you just don't sense anything about them. There's nothing in the way that they talk or the way that they behave. It's, it's pure, it's pure. So there's a pureness with this pile. You are beautiful. You will continue to have great experiences in life. You will be continued to take be taken well to, okay? And um, you might find that in life, this actually works for you. There's maybe opportunities that come in that are very easy for you to get because you're exhibiting this type of fresh, fresh energy, okay? Wow, pal four. 
Let me know what you thought, guys, and thank you so much for watching.